Hi guys, and welcome to Armin's Tech Talk. I want to thank you for joining me. If you like these videos, give it a thumbs up, and as always, hit that subscribe button. AMD is trying to get to their Zen. And not just any type of Zen, they're Ryzen. Now, last week, AMD held a financial analyst summit. They do this, I don't know, if, I don't believe it's every year, but every couple years, they get all the analysts together and they start going over financial outlooks and what they're expecting and they also go ahead and they start talking about the road ahead in this case the road ahead looks like it's got more zen in the future so we started this year with the 7 series 1800x performance per dollar king AMD launched the Ryzen 7 1800X with the performance that could go up against Intel's big high-end desktop chip, the 6950K, their, or X, their extreme processor. So later this year, the roadmap is going to continue. We have... Ryzen Threadripper, and you can find more about that chip in leaked rumors in the card up here. And then, in addition to that, they also brought or they also started talking about Ryzen Pro. And Pro is going to be for the commercial desktop, and it's not going to be something that I focus too much here on. I mean, same with chips such as epic epic is also a derivative of ryzen but constructed slightly differently and with the idea that there was going to be way more io going into that processor here's where we stand in 2017 we currently have zen at the 14 nanometer threadripper comes out this summer with process improvements, chances are Threadripper is going to be 14 nanometer FinFET Plus. This will give maybe slightly higher clocks, slightly better wattage, a performance uh, increase, although minute, because the process got better. It got more mature. Then we move into 2018. And by the way this graph is set up, I'm thinking that everything is probably going to show up around second half. And that is, well, it's around Computex time. So it makes sense for an annual refresh cycle to happen at that point in the year. And it's also early in their new fiscal year to go ahead and do that. So... In 2018, we get Zen 2 at 7 nanometers. This, of course, is going to be a die shrink. It'll be a new process. It will gain us some performance per watt improvements. But at that point, too, we're also looking at a decrease in actual performance increase due to the fact that we're pushing up against the laws of physics and Moore's law itself. We're getting to the point where silicon transistors can't get any smaller. And so if AMD keeps up the route that they're going, they should be okay. They do good Tim on their processors and things are looking good for that future. And then of course, then we move into second half 2019 and we get a, you know, more mature seven nanometer FinFET process, whether that is 
from uh, Global Foundries or TSMC. Lisa Su during the event said that they have the option to be flexible with those two manufacturers. This roadmap, I mean, we, we see the leapfrogging teams, which of course the guys who completed the original Ryzen Zen, they're now on to Zen 3 and they have another team doing Zen 2. Makes sense. AMD does not have the loads and loads of cash that Intel does. So good on AMD there. As they move forward, I am hoping that, of course, they do keep competitive, even with the process node shrink and the maturing of the process. I would expect between 10 and 15% increase year over year. That's pretty much in line with Intel. So as long as the high-end Ryzen chips coming out this year can compete or even surpass, then unless Intel has something magical up their sleeve, then it should be a very interesting competition for market share over the next several years. I want to thank you guys for coming out and watching this video today. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy my content, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.